Hi, my name is Alina Wilson with Estimate Mastery. Today we're going to talk about what you should do when you open an estimate in the incorrect profile. So maybe you wanted the contractor profile, but instead you opened it in the carrier profile. I get this asked all the time, so that was time to address it. We're also going to look at some other cool features that are located in the same area where you're going to change the profile. So let's go take a look. So here I am in the Control Center dashboard of Xactimate, and if I went to open a new project here, just like that, and clicked New Project, it would take on whatever profile is here in the right-hand side uh, drop-down menu. So I have Carrier, Contractor, and then I have this weird Liberty. I'm not really sure where that came in. I never use that, don't know what that is. So Carrier or Contractor is the standard two profiles that you should see. And I have a separate video covering the differences of the two, but me working with restoration contractors, I usually use the carrier profile because I can enter more information, have control over paid when incurred items and things like that. So carrier is usually the profile that I would like to get started in. However, sometimes this defaults back to contractor and if I'm not paying attention, I'll accidentally add the new project in the contractor profile. So when the estimate opens up, I'll start filling out all this information here, and then I'll realize, oops, they, we are missing a sub-tab. Some people don't catch it even at this stage. You may even go as far as writing your whole estimate, and then whenever you print, notice that a couple things are missing from your cover sheet on your print window. So what we are going to do is just go ahead and save and exit this project that's in the contractor profile, and you can right-click here in the Control Center dashboard under Recent Projects. I'm going to right-click and I'm going to click on Duplicate. If you click on Duplicate, you can go ahead and choose a different profile, and you won't lose any of the information, anything that you've worked on, and you can also rename the project if needed so that you know it's the new project, and I can left-click OK, and then I'll have a carbon copy of the same estimate, same information that I just created in that contractor profile now carries over to the carrier profile, and everything's well and good again. I've got my coverage loss, I can affect the deductible or whatever I need to do here. Um, and then all of my estimate items also would have carried over. On that note, there are some other options here that I think is useful. I also get asked, you know, hey, I opened an estimate with this weird date and time stamp. Well, that's okay. I can right click and info or rename that right here and name it what it should have been named, the Smith file or whatever you want to uh, name your your estimates. I use first name underscore last name. That way in my projects, if I ever need to find something quickly, I can go ahead and uh, do that there and find what I need by last name and then underscore first name. So that's what I would do as far as doing your projects. So don't worry. There's a lot of flexibility with Xactimate. Um, that a lot of people don't know about, and so these are some of the things that aren't well known. So other than info, rename, and duplicate, you might want to merge projects if you have somebody out in the field who's scoping the loss, and then you on the inside have already hand-entered all the information. You can merge those two projects so that person out in the field doesn't have to do all that data entry. Uh, merging the two projects makes, of course, the two become one and would uh, write those two together. If there's any fields that were filled out, you might have some questions. Do you want to overwrite this field or what have you? But it's pretty handy if you have an office person doing the data entry and then a person outside scoping. Uh, we can also request uh, roof measurements from here. So if I right click and then request roof measurements, I can drop down and choose Eagle View and I could fill out all this information. So that's another option. And then I think the last thing that's useful here is you could mark it as unopened. And once you uh, do that here, it bolds it. And this is good if you're sharing computers, sharing stations, or if you want to bring this to the attention of someone that needs to work on the file. Marking new or um, as unopened is, is what makes it bold like that and brings that to the attention, hey, this estimate needs to be worked on. So as soon as I open it, it becomes unbold again. So that's one thing that might be useful to you who should say workstation, just want to alert the other person, hey, this file needs to be worked on. That's just a simple option for that. 
Other than that, those are the options on the right click that I found very useful through the years. And I think duplicate is the most useful one for when you accidentally add your new project in the incorrect profile. My name is Alina Wilson with Exit Meet Mastery. If you like this video, please click like below and also subscribe for our weekly tips. For more information on Exit Mastery, go to www.xm8mastery.com and I'll see you next week.